I'm back with more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Last time we started by talking with Emma and Lana Sky. Now we're going to start our investigation problem. So let's go! So this is the lot where it happened? Looks like they're still investigating. Funny this first my my first visit to the prosecutor's office would be like this. Hey everyone, keep up the good work! What are you thinking? Well, they're going to be my co-workers three years from now. No harm in saying hello. Actually, there is. You know attorneys aren't supposed to examine crime scenes. Trying not to stand out too much. You expecting to go no unnoticed here? Uh, hello? <sighs> what we got here? Looks like a bambina got loose from the ranch and it's up to no good. Folks gotta learn to keep their doggies tied down, partner. Mr. Marshall! Looks more like a sheriff to me. Looky here, Bambina. I know how you feel. But this is my gang's gold strike. See? Strike? This is our claim. Our territory. With a mother load of evidence. If you're fixing the mess with ours, you'll regret it, partner. You know what dreams a cacti on the desert dream? You want to? What the hell is this guy talking about? You got a long home now. Happy trails. Okay. Uh, was that ombre a friend of yours? What is up with the western stuff? Uh, kinda, sorta. He's kinda, sorta a detective? Who thinks he's a sheriff from the Wild West. Okay. What's this? A wallet? Um, excuse me. Wait! What are you doing? I just found it. I'm gonna hand it over. I don't believe it. This is real basic. Anything in a crime scene is evidence. Let's be scientific about this. Just put it in your pocket. How is that scientific? I'm called to duty already, and at my tender age. Here, I'll teach you the tricks of examining evidence in detail. By the way her eyes are sparkling, I can tell she's been waiting for this. Okay, okay. Look at the court record. So again, this was stuff added to the DS version for specifically this case and Apollo Justice. I think stuff like this happened in games 5 and 6, but don't quote me on it. It was specifically because the DS had functionality. You have to be sure to examine evidence carefully. Let's start examining from every angle. Okay. Oh, look! I think there might be a clue. You should check it out. Press the X button. Joy, I opened the thing. This is an ID. Bruce Goodman. Okay. Well, isn't scientific investigation useful? I picked up a wallet and I opened it. I guess. Well, I don't see what science has to do with opening or... Well, physics, I guess. The physics and the force involved with unclasping a clasp. Let's be sure to examine every piece of evidence we find. I guess I gotta be on my toes. Hmm. Look, a door! I'm not sure doors mean anything. It won't open! 
I fail to see what's mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. Let's just finish our investigation. She's kind of right. This is where cars leave the lot. What are you talking about? It's an exit. Oh, the theory of re relativity. I gotta write this down. Hey, hey, Mr. Wright. Was Mr. Relativ relativity German or British? Are you sure that was his name? D mm. Oh, that's a that's a lot more. Okay. Well, no time to waste. Well, looks like you got no intention of going home. Like I said before, this here's our clay. You best be moving me on along now, unless you're fixing the bike to bike. <coughs> Could you just tell us one thing? Who owns that car? Well, well. Little Philly's got a good name, got a nose on her. You want to know who rides the red Mustang on the body in the middle? No problem. Uh, about time for vittles anyway. Get yourself to the saloon up on the 12th floor of the prospector's office. Might just find yourself serve cerveza. What's this guy think he is? When, for that matter. Note to self. Look up Vittles, Saloon, Cerveza. I know two of those things. Maybe we should check out 12, 12, 1202. In any case, stay away from that car. You can look around here all you like. Just keep your paws off the claim. Fine. Great. Maybe there's some clues around here. Excuse me. Were you two all set? Oh, hello. She couldn't be. You're selling lunches here? This is a crime scene. Hello. Half and half, was it? Uh, thank you. And you, sir? Uh, yes. Some crunchy goodness coming at you. Uh, thank you. This area is off limits to anyone without clearance. Especially passersby. Or are you officers? No, but you don't exactly look like the type to have clearance. Well, that's hardly a way to greet someone. Even if my days as cough up queen are over. Cough up? You know, I'm feeling kind of full. Maybe I'll pass on that lunch. I'm quite connected to this case, you see. The images are burned into my eyes. All these sordid secrets. Secrets? Dear me, you're slow, aren't you? I'm referring to the murder. The stabbing of this detective. A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. You mean you're the witness? Please, tell us what happened. The name is Angel Star. Don't you go forgetting it. Or before you know it, I'll have you whimpering at my heels. Yes, ma'am. Jesus. Somehow I knew. Yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I knew the daily special on Friday every week is salmon. Was yesterday special? You're a defense attorney, right? You should know. You should know the foul misdeeds of the evil one that haunt this, haunt this den of iniquity. Evil ones? Prosecutors. They have no qualms about, at all, of blackening the name of innocence. And yesterday, they paid homage to the most evil one of all. 
They gave an award for King of Prosecutors. What a farce. So, she's saying there was some sort of convention? I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. Do you have a personal grievance or something? Or is this some kind of scientific evidence of this evil? Young lady, mock me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me Cough Up Queen. The most heinous of evil ones. The one they awarded yesterday. It was in her. It was his, his car. They found her body. Proof he devours the evilest lunches of all. I'm confused. This lunch lady's got a thing against prosecutors. She's got more than that, I'd imagine. So what exactly did you witness? It was fascinating, to be sure. I now feel I know what they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. To see Lana Sky wielding that knife is so... Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. You saw it? The sound of the silvery ties to this world being crudely cut still ring in my ears. And the rhythmic beat of her knife. Wait a minute, you know her? Of course I do. It's quite a feat becoming chief prosecutor. How many lunchboxes of sin did she pack to make that journey, I wonder? She always travels light. Why would this pretty lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? Um, could we ask you a bit about yourself? I come here every day to sell lunches. I import only the best and freshest from the Far East. For some reason, the box lunches are a hit here. Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? Mm, no. Only true connoisseurs can understand. The kind you can only tell someone who's tried General So's trilobite lunch. Uh, never mind, you win. I don't even want to, pre to appreciate part of a trilobite's flavor. Anyway, I came here every day to sell lunches. My boyfriend works the security room here. Your boyfriend? See the security room over there? The glass booth? I sell my lunches, and since I'm here anyway, I drop in to see him. I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. So, to scientifically analyze the data available, you, Miss Star, are a lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. Useful analysis. Not. Did you have a bad experience with the prosecutor? I sense hostility. Hostility? <laughs> Perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike. And the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kind of like ten day old clams and chowder. I wonder if she's involved. That'd be sure a cause for food poisoning. Scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, now you're talking, cough up queen. Thought she was just a lunch vendor, but I'm not so sure. Well, we can get back to her in a minute. Alright, this is definitely uh, Edgeworth's office. He's got the silver samurai in the backdrop. That's that's kind of crazy. This is the kind of room that just screams, I can do the job. Quite a change from your office, really. Thank you. Look! There's a trophy or something. What's that, a shield? It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. Whatever office this is, they must be a real stuck-up jerk. Phoenix Wright. You never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? 
Bleh. Long time to see, Edgeworth. Ah! Uh, uh, ah! Mr. Edgeworth! You know him from somewhere? Uh, of course! I'm his biggest fan! He's such a stuck-up jerk, and... But my sister introduced me to him once, and... Right. Her sister's chief prosecutor, after all. Well? What brings you here? I'll warn you. I've been known to be a real... Stuck-up jerk. No, did I? No! It's just Mr. Rice here is so... Don't blame me! We're just investigating a murder case. Murder? A body was found in a nasty bright red sports car. Hmm. That would be... My car. What of it? What? Your car? I'll say one thing, she can certainly scream. So the body was found in your car? Go ahead, say it. You think I did it, didn't you? <laughs> After you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no less. No, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed it. No, uh, she didn't even do that. Uh. Wait. So you're the chief prosecutor's sister? Yes, sir. I'm a Sky. It's it's nice to meet you again. Now that didn't sound forced at all. Oh, now I remember. You've really grown. I'll admit it was a surprise for me too. To think my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprising still, I'm being forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand. Wait, wait a minute, what? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in this district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor in the trial. But you? Mr. Edgeworth. To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me. Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. Forging evidence, arranging false testimony, illegal searches, you name it. Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, there are still some who say I'm responsible for that in this, for the incident. Wait, that's crazy! <laughs> some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life, I suppose. Impossible to stop. But... Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. That bronze shield? There's gotta be a story behind that. Chief Prosecutor Sky, we first worked together in a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago, I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I've always felt she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. Mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person, but I'm sure she felt some responsibility. Then why? Why she just stabbed someone in the trunk of my own car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. What? Your knife was the murder weapon? To be specific, it's a knife I keep in a toolbox. Edgeworth? Are you sure you didn't do it? Come on, can't he take a joke? You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. It's against my policy to discuss evidence. Especially with you. He doesn't like you much, does he? Nah. I've been wondering, what the heck is this thing? It has a big K on it. 
prosecutors. Eh? What's... It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. King of Prosecutors? It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. So? So that K is... K stands for King? You have a problem? I didn't design it. King of Prosecutors? Kind of like Employee of the Month, only better. So basically, this says you were the best of the best last year. You can take that foolish grin elsewhere, Mr. Wright. I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh? Why is that? I had to go to the police department to receive that broken shield. The police department? Yes. Right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, haven't you? Where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. Um, I was wondering something. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about that award, for better or for worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday. Tell us more about the day of the murder. Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. Wiping your hands of old cases. Oh. A ceremony was held at the police department. There an annual review of awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors when you got this thing? I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 512. It's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edsworth pride ourselves on precision. I place little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is evidence. This is the parking stub from the underground parking lot. The murder took place at 515. So it happened right after you got back? What? I'd appreciate it if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Uh, uh. Oh no. Excuse me! But is Mr. Edgeworth anywhere on this premises? I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Report? Did you find any new evidence in the case? I don't like the way this conversation's going at all. Uh, Sky? No, sir! No name of that kind, sir! Not in this report, sir! I think I just heard his lid blow. Mr. Zedward's lid is on very tight, right? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on tomorrow's trial, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir! But, 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 sir! I just following orders, sir! They told me to bring this to you! I wasn't particularly aware of the arrange- Give me your name! Uh, yes! Uh, Meekins, sir! Officer Meekins! Officer Meekins, take your report and leave. And good luck with that raise next month. <laughs> but, but, sir, I didn't know! Ugh. Right. Uh. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. Let's see what he says. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thank you. He's calmed down, at least. Ugh. All right. Well, that's enough for me. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. <laughs>